Hey guys, this is Howard Ubertech, back with another video. Today's video is going to be how to upgrade uh, the support sleeve for your VP9. Uh, the support sleeve is this piece right here. So this piece right here is the upgrade. And this upgrade is compatible with the VP9 Tactical, VP9 SK, VP40, and VP40 Tactical. So the reason why you would want to do this upgrade is because this piece right here that comes factory is made out of plastic and it's really easy to mar up when you're trying to maintenance your firing pin assembly. If you were to upgrade to this piece, this is made out of uh, an aluminum alloy. It's a lot harder to mar up and it'll last you a lot longer than this plastic piece. Once I take this part uh, out from underneath this spring capture, I'll be able to show you how the plastic piece on mine is already kind of bent. That'll be a good example of why you want to do this upgrade. So before we get started, I'd like to ask everybody to please subscribe. Every subscriber helps. Now let's get back to the video. For you guys at home, you're going to use the slide to take this firing pin assembly apart. I'm going to use an armor's block so this way everything can stay in frame. So if I do this, you could see everything fine. You're going to take this piece right here, that little nub, and that's going to go into this channel right here. This hole and this piece right here is going to go just like this. And see how that piece goes right into that channel? It's going to go all the way down. And then what you're going to do is this part goes onto the table just like that. And then from here, you're going to do everything I'm going to show you how to do right from the armor's block. Doing it from the slide is a little bit easier because you don't get as much wiggle and everything pretty much stays in place. But again, the only reason I'm using this is just so you guys can see everything in a frame. Let me show you exactly what we're trying to accomplish. This piece right here around the tip is two pieces. Uh, they're like two cups and they look like one piece here but they're not, they're two halves. So we need to remove the two halves once we compress the uh, spring downward. And then once we do that, it'll release the spring and then we can finish the, the upgrade. So what I like to do is I like to get paper towel, something like this, fold it up, and I like to wrap it around the top and squeeze and, pull and push downward. Uh, the reason why I use the paper towel is because it gives me a little bit more friction, a little bit more grip because I find that the spring is pretty slippery. So when I'm trying to pull this down, it just slips right through my fingers. So I'm going to use the paper towel to give me some more friction. So it's going to look something like this. And as you can see, even though I was using the paper towel, the spring was still kind of slipping from my grip. You're going to remove the spring like this, set that aside, and then you're going to take the uh, firing pin and push it outward like this. And you're going to be careful because there's a spring in there, as you can see. So this is the piece that we're upgrading here. This is also the piece that you're going to compress or push on when you're trying to remove the firing pin assembly. So you put something like this in between here and this piece, let me show you what it looks like. So normally it's like this when it's inside your slide. And so what you're doing is you're putting this piece in here like this and you're compressing down. And when you do that, because there's a lot of spring tension and this is just plastic, you can see right here how it's getting all marred up and it's getting bent. Because once you upgrade to something that's aluminum, this won't bend and get marred up as easy. So that's the reason why we're doing this upgrade. Take our new upgraded support sleeve and we're gonna put it on just like this. So it looks like that, okay? So basically the area with the uh, open slot like that is gonna go over the firing pin just like this, making sure that you still have that spring in there and it goes on just like that. Now, what we have to do is bring back our armor's block 
and you guys are going to do the same thing that you did before where you're going to put this piece right with that little bump into the slide just like that and you're going to follow the steps that I'm going to do but I'm going to do it through the armors block take your spring you're going to put it over the firing pin like that we're going to compress this spring all the way down as far as we can go as long as we're below this spot right here see that little lip we need to get that spring below that right around here and the reason why we need to do that is because we have these two cups here that we have to insert and you can see these two cups once they're together like that they make one whole collar and so the the goal here is to get these underneath like this so it's going to look something like that this spring will be between here and here okay compressed so that's the goal and i'll show you how to do that so what you're going to do is put the spring over the firing pin just like that i'm going to use another piece of paper towel we're going to compress this all the way down as far as we can go probably about to here if we can and then we're going to take the cups and we're going to slide them in what I do is I try to grab the spring from here because obviously you need to get the cups in the spring like that, but it's got to be underneath this lip where the firing pin is right above my nail. So I'm going to wrap it around. You can still see the spring sticking out. I'm going to start compressing. And once we get to here, we can start slipping the collars in like this and then get the other one in on the other side like that. Just like that. All right. So as you can see, the two cups over here are underneath the firing pin uh, lip and it captures the spring between the collar and the support sleeve. And this is what it's gonna look like once you have it installed. And the next part after getting the new upgraded support sleeve on is installing it to the slide. So you're gonna take this portion right here and you're gonna put it into this hole right here where I'm pointing to, right there. And it's gonna go in just like this. This piece that's sticking up here will go into this channel right here just like this, it slides in. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the back plate and this lip right here and this lip over here are gonna get inserted to this open area and that open area, just like this. So I like to line it up, put my thumb against it just like that. So this way, now I'm ready so when I get this piece right here compressed downward, then I can just push forward with my thumb and then the plate will go back in place. What I'm doing here is I'm taking this piece and I'm pushing on here, on this lip, I'm pushing downward. So this way I'm compressing it. This part right here stays on the table just like you did for the disassembling of the firing pin. So it's gonna look something like this. So push down and then push forward with your thumb, just like that, and that's it. You hear that click, and it's installed. You have successfully upgraded your support sleeve for your firing pin assembly. So guys, if you thought this video was helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Every subscriber helps. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one.